I've attracted a lot of dark attention lately, ever since exposing Alexander Volkanovsky and City Kickboxing as black magic practitioners. Most of it's coming from Australians and New Zealanders. Who would have thought? I thought I'd spread a little bit of positivity on MMA YouTube today. <clears throat> Jared Cannonier is facing ridiculous allegations about being on PEDs since his extraordinarily impressive performance against Marvin Vittori. You're all a bunch of idiots. This here is my fifth main event, and uh, I'm happy to say that I never get tired of these things. Jared Cannonier is a righteous man. He would never cheat. He is on esoteric steroids and practices white magic. <laughs> This video will definitively prove that Jared Cannonier is a natty fighter and that he has extraordinary amounts of esoteric power. Hello all, uh, Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannonier here. I want to send another shout out to the Crystal Council for hooking me up with this care package here and send me these lovely crystals I've been using to uh, help myself in doing a little bit of energy work, you know, trying to bring in positivity and give out positivity. So I'm going to show you all my pieces of pyrite real quick. All the ones that I have here, at least with me. Um, let's see if I can turn the camera. There you go. Wow. Oh, wow. So I got some the nice raw pieces. Seems like a crazy person, right? Think again. Jared knows far more than he is letting on but he also knows it's not his job to teach you. This defeats the purpose of enlightenment. Let's let him explain it in his own words. Crystals, how do I get this into my life, man? Well, you gotta study, man. You gotta do some, do your own research, find out what resonates with you, and then approach it that way. There's no one way of doing it. I found my way and uh, it is mine. And I'm not gonna, I can't just give it to everybody else. I can give everybody cues and whatnot, but I would say, <laughs> study, you know, find the different reasons people use them, find whichever one works, resonates with you best, and uh, have fun. Enjoy the journey. I'm sure you picked up on the look on Jared's face. That is the look of a man who knows each individual's spiritual journey is a personal quest. I didn't know my real history until I came down here and got it myself, because public school didn't give it to me. Um, TV ain't gonna give it to you. You know, they give you the fictionalized version of it, and no, even in my research, I might not even have the 100% true story, but I have my perspective and uh, I'm gonna go with it. Here, Jared explains his beliefs to Ariel Helwani, whose reptilian mind can barely comprehend the elevated psyche of the killer gorilla. What, what are you getting from that? What is that doing for you when you're doing that? Well, um, <laughs> well, uh... Note how Jared laughs at the foolishness of Ariel's question. If you have to ask what Jared gets out of practicing his rituals, you will not understand anything he tells you anyway. It's just energy work, essentially. You know, everything is energy. Vibrations, air, vibrations of air molecules, things like that is energy. Um, crystals are energy. I, you know, I dabble in, in a bunch of different things. And I try to stay away from a lot of different things because a lot of it has been taken and spoiled and corrupted and used in other different ways. Jared knows that acquiring esoteric power without resorting to blood magic is a lifelong journey. But, you know, I was raised Christian. And I grew up in public school in America. So, you know, I've been indoctrinated to a certain extent, but I would happily, I'm glad to say that I have broke free of a lot of those indoctrinating psych psychological mindsets. Jared worships the sun. I love the sun. Jared is also capable of astral projection. Right there, I was able to project myself very easily. On top of his beliefs in astrology, crystals, and white magic, Jared also holds traditional based beliefs. He believes in absolute free speech. You can't really say anything illegal. I mean, I'm sure they made some stupid ass laws to say, you may, you know, they made stupid ass laws, but anyway. He believes in traditional family values. The only person who I can get in trouble with is my wife. Note he has genuine respect for his wife, but also note how he responds when the interviewer suggests 
he also gets in trouble. Oh, I get in that trouble all the time. It's not fun, all right? But on top of that, man, but look here. I'm the man of my motherfucking house, right? And I'm a good man. I'm an honest man. Therefore, I can sit here and say I can do what the fuck I want to do. Jared shuts that shit down. They are not built the same. Jared is the patriarch of his house. Yeah, his wife met get him in trouble. He doesn't give a fuck because he knows he's righteous. I'm not going around slapping kids or doing or you know what I'm saying beating up old people or or anything like that. With that, I can do what I want to do because what I want to do is righteous, if you will. Jared does not believe in the nation state, but understands its modern necessity. I should be able to go anywhere I want to. The, the fact that we got borders and stuff like that that say that I can't come in, I believe is a uh, bullshit. I don't understand why they're there for security reasons, also for control reasons. But um, <clears throat> Jared is post-racial. As a dark pigmented person living that far north, I wasn't getting nearly enough sun. Anybody who knows anything about themselves by biology knows that darker pigment people who live above the uh, third parallel are are definitely going to be vitamin D deficient in the fall and winter time which will lead to immune deficiency, which will lead to <gasps> what we have going on here now today, which will lead to <gasps> what we have going on here now today. He does not call himself a black person because he knows he is an Atlantean. Listen closely to what he says about his ancestors. Um. Well, my ancestors have used psychedelics for going back, you know, millenniums, a bunch of millennia, not just one millennium, like 20, 30 millennium back, you know, I mean, even before then. One thing is for sure, we are seeing a lot of changes going on, um, whether we like them or not, it's changes happening. So, um, me personally, I don't like all the changes I'm seeing. In addition to believing in theosophical root races, Jared is also a stoic. Discomfort is a great catalyst for growth and advancement and, 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 and you know, elevation, if you will. So um, hopefully that's what we're going through right now. And he believes the earth is approaching the age of Aquarius. To top it all off, Jared is willing to mag dump you if you get in the way of his spiritual journey. There's nothing that's gonna stop me. And anybody who tries to stop me is uh, opposition. And what I do with opposition is aim and fire. Um, still a lot of changes to make in my life, but um, I know I'm on the right road. This is a pewter owl. Pewter is a composite alloy of tin. Tin has many magical properties. It is notably used in romantic and sexual spells. Leanna Jujua will invite me to Georgia in 2024. I will be on a Cheyenne Velismus Roman Delice tier sex retreat in the hills of Georgia with Leanna Jujua by 2024. Shout out to ancient Egypt. Demon Bobby. Demon Mommy.